now to an 800 site consumer alert. Looking for a place to live can be stressful, and it could get a lot worse if you end up in a scam that costs you money and time. There's one popping up in the Tampa area with ads that look like the real thing. News Channel 8's Lauren Make has a look at how a single mom spotted it in time. Cassie Paskowitz went on Craigslist to find a new home. So I'm trying to do 700 area if it doesn't include utilities. She found an ad she thought might finally allow her to give her four-year-old son Jordan a room of his own. And it's sad because he goes to other people's houses and he thinks the living room is his. <laughs> it's his room because that's all he's ever slept in is the living room. So I feel bad and I want to give him more than that, you know. The two-bedroom house she found was advertised for $700 a month including utilities. Paskowitz emailed the contact and filled out an application but there were some red flags. I got back a full detailed email about, um, you know, him and his wife. They traveled to West Africa. The purported owners were out of the country. She couldn't actually see the inside of the holiday home, and they wanted her to send $1,400 through Western Union. Paskowitz didn't send any money, though she did do some research. It's a, it's a, a larger than average size two bedroom home. It's about 1,500 square feet. The house on Finch Drive actually was for rent, but not for the price listed. And the realtor didn't put an ad on Craigslist. Mike Bundy listed the home on Realtor.com. He says someone took his information and posted it somewhere else. So the pictures in that ad are actually this home. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the name, the, the email address that's connected with it is based on the real name of the owner. Correct. The email address used on Craigslist for this home looks very similar to the owner's name. Bundy says the same thing happened to him on another property in Spring Hill. The email address is Rose, which the owner of the property, uh, the name starts with Rose, and then they have, they added Trinidad62 at yahoo.com. In both cases, the price on Craigslist was less than the realtor's price. I used the information on the Craigslist ad to contact the person behind it. He told me the house is his and that he's in Africa. When I told him about the realtor, he asked if that realtor had keys. When I told him yes, he said he'd have to ask his wife about it. We haven't been able to reach him since. Kevin Dahl of the Pasco County Sheriff's Office says asking for money under false pretenses is fraud and someone could be charged if you can find and determine just who is responsible. We've had these cases in the past, and sometimes it's hard to determine where they came from, who was behind the computer actually doing it at the time. Dahl says this kind of investigation can be time-consuming and involve other agencies. Paskowitz tried to warn others by contacting us and flagging the post she found on Craigslist. I don't want anybody to fall victim to it. Knowing that an affordable home can be awfully appealing. Lauren Meek, News Channel 8. That realtor, Mike Bundy, says before he listed this home, he got notarized paperwork that authenticates the real owner of the property, the identity of that owner. He says he also knew it was the real owner because a colleague originally sold him that home. When you log on to Craigslist to rent property, there are some warnings right on the page about any transaction involving Western Union or a wire transfer. That should be a big red flag. Other warning signs, if the person you're dealing with is hard to get in touch with or if you can't meet with them, if anything makes you feel uncomfortable, just contact law enforcement first.